Traveling to Europe for further testing and competition, the Nashes arrive at the Mistral Test and Development Center. Ernstfred Crowder and Carl Mesmer welcome the Hawaiians to the beautiful resort of Torbalay. Although it's late in the afternoon, there is still time for an evening sail to let everyone relax after their long trip. The aura wind starts at 12 noon sharp, and with it, the second annual Mistral Class European Championships. Two years have passed since the development of the first Mistral competition prototypes. Since then, more than 20,000 competitions of one design measurement have been sold, a good indication of their success and popularity. Although the Nashes compete unofficially, all finish in the top 10. Robbie wins the lightweight group with Carl, a close second. Jean Lepere is the winner of the heavyweight group, and Chris Brockhouse wins the women's event. To further the European phase of our testing, we decide to race between Torbalay and Roxy Park, a distance of 10 miles both ways. We want to prove the superior performance of the Nash board, even on the flat water of Lake Garda. Everyone who gets a chance to try the Nash board is enthusiastic about it. It accelerates with the slightest push of wind and is easy to steer on any course. Where normal boards cease to be fun, the Nash board just begins. In fact, the sensation of passing other surfers with the velocity of a tandem board in good winds will make you dissatisfied with anything but a Nash board. At the Mistral production facilities in Zurich, Rick wants to discuss final details to ensure that minimum weight is achieved and that the design is fully realized in the final production board. The new Mistral pressure compound technique allows for a cubic weight of less than 70 grams per liter using super light foam cores and epoxy laminates for extreme lightweight and high performance, a result which would be difficult to duplicate except at much higher costs. Rick asked Pat Love to make five absolutely identical sails. Then, with the new knowledge gained from European sailing, combined with his years of Hawaiian experience, Rick builds five slightly different boards during the next few weeks. On a day with good winds, a race is staged to determine which of the five designs will be chosen for production. A course will be sailed between Kailua Beach and Mokalua Island. Thank you. 
photographers Dennis Davidson, Pat Love, Robbie, Rick, and Randy Nash compete constantly to get the most out of the demanding Hawaiian wind and waves. On the return to Lanikai, the race turns into a dream ride. jumping spot is Diamond Head. But when they're not sailing, as with surfers anywhere, conversation turns to tales of classic days, fast boards, and the surfers who have the courage to try something new. Something as exciting as a new Mistral Nash board. <laughs> 